the way this all went on, like I was recounting the stories and there were a couple of dudes that were like, nah, you're full of crap. Mm. So I had a few in me and I was bold as it as could be. And I said, all right, come on in. I'll show you. So we leave this flat oh, up at my damn. dad's house. We leave this bonfire. We go into the house and I set them all down in the living room. And I start taunting this thing, dude. Like, oh, damn. Zach, Zach, Zach Bagan's calling it out. Like, getting ready to take my shirt off and start beating my chest. Okay. Damn. What? And <laughs> and the mirrors, you can start seeing because the way Lance was talking about these pictures and the frames and the mirrors That's and great. stuff, they were all over the house, right? And they were, like, around the living room and into the dining room and back around. You started seeing a shadow in each of these frames. Just poof, poof. Oof, oof, going by. I'm like sorry. in a circle, like it was I'm circling gone. us. I might be gone already. I might be gone yeah. already. I don't know where you live or how far it is from society, but I might be like that guy <laughs> making the cutout in the door. Like, I don't know, man. Sorry. That's yeah. Got me anyway, back already. to you, Lance. You can fit, this, is, this is your story here. So that all takes place. Um, and then Justin doesn't have any more instances of this shadow person at all and to this wow. day justin have you there's been a few other kind of crazy things that have taken place you know a few little things but nothing that you would account to this shadow person correct no nothing's happened with this entity whoever whatever it was it's been nothing more except some terrible ptsd and nightmares for a few years but sure right me and my me and my therapist have worked through that wow so a few <laughs> few weeks or months have oh, really <laughs> I knew he was kidding. That's why I pushed on. A few weeks or months passed, uh, and this gentleman uh, sends Justin a text um, and essentially kind of asking some questions about some of the instances and experiences that he had because he's feeling like he is starting to have some of these same shadow person entities messing with him and, and bothering him. Hmm. Okay. It's, it's a little crazier. All right. I'm I'm nowhere in the vicinity of that evening. I'm actually several hours away at school. Okay. A couple of years later, I have moved back home uh, to start work. Um, I teach um, high school chemistry. Uh, cool. That's what I do for a living. Walter. Um, and I, but I move in with a couple of my friends who are still in college. Um, and we, it's a traditional bachelor pad. We're all there. Splitting rent, you know, they're still in school. I'm making pennies on a dollar essentially. So we're just, we're, it's, it's a true bachelor's pad. Well, I'm one of the guys I'm living with um, is the same individual that has sent Justin the text and has been dealing with these shadow person entities or whatever that he's thinking has attached to him after that night up there. They've had this party. Now, I live with this guy for several years before um, I eventually meet my loving wife when we get married and move out. But he went through, and he would be okay with me telling this. He went through some really dark times. Mm -hmm. um, went through some mental issues. Um, there, were, I, there were several nights where I was up all night with him just, just trying to talk. And because he was just really going through some, some pretty heavy stuff. Um, now, I didn't know this at the time. I did not know that he had been dealing with the shadow person that he thought attached to himself. I didn't know that. I had no concept, no, no concept of that. But I did know that he was just, he was, he just was just one of those guys that just dealt, he just, just dealt with some things. Okay. And there was a, some weird things that happened in our apartment. Um, nothing that I would, that, that I would say was like what Justin went through with the shadow person. But there was always just, I don't know, our apartment kind of had a strange feel. Mm -hmm. um, and to the point, like the first time my soon-to-be wife, like we first met, she came to the apartment to wait on me to get ready so we could go out to eat. Um, and she kind of came in. It was a basement apartment. It was We called it the dungeon. It was kind of a dungeony feel. Um, but I had a, a, a puppy that I had gotten that was there with me. And she tells me on numerous occasions, like, had that puppy not been in that house, I was leaving. Like, it just didn't feel, it's just a weird feeling in that house. Just, I was, not that it was you, it's just that when I walked into the apartment, I just had a weird feel. But for some reason, that little puppy came up and, and kind of jumped up on me and was, you know, happy to see me. And it kind of just allowed me to focus my energy on the dog and not on what was going on around me. Hmm. 
So all of these things, I, again, I didn't know. So, so then we get back to this podcast. And Justin and I start rehashing and reliving some of these memories together that we had 15, 20 years ago and kind of laughing about him and talking about him. And then he follows up with, well, this guy told me, you know, he thinks this thing attached to him. And then it's like, boom, all this stuff just slams into my brain. Like, whoa, holy crap. I had a couple of years there where wow. he was dealing with some pretty heavy stuff. And I was writing, but I was the same attached. I was, well, I would say auxiliary to that to Justin 20 years ago. Right. I was in the same situation 15 years later, dealing with the same shadow entity and kind of seeing a different side of what was going on. Um, so and to this it, day, it jumped from him to your other, from Justin to your other buddy in that moment yes. when you just screamed it away, essentially. Yep. Hmm. Dude, that's, that's we think. wild. I mean, maybe you scared it enough that it was like, all right, I'm done screwing with this guy. But the other minute. guy like, opened up a portal into but, him. Well, he made that or just being around it or being, he was, you know, I don't think the shadow people are like you. They just. Again, from my personal experience, it wasn't like I've had them in my entire life. It was just, it seemed like a location. Yeah. And it was like, all right, well, well that, that's I'm more glad to be out haunting, of there. You know, that's well, I don't know. I think, I energy. mean, you know, I don't know, I don't know, you know, y'all's belief on, you know, as far as, you know, biblical things or whatever. But I personally, I believe that this thing, whatever it was, I believe that it was demonic. Yeah, now, I'm not going to sit here and say that I believe all these shadow people that people see are, you know, demons or are demonic, but this in particular, this gave you entity, that sense. whatever it was, whenever I encountered it, and and then looking back at, at all the times that I felt like it was around, it was just this sense of nothing but just the most intense fear and dread. Oh, and, dread. Yeah. You know, like I was ready to crawl out of my own skin and dig a hole and just hide away. Yeah. Right. It was just that stance. Yeah. And this guy in particular, number, I have two different theories as, as to why it attached itself to him. <clears throat> number one, this guy was a really good buddy in, in mine and Lance's friend circle, but he was also my cousin. Hmm. So it's, the same blood familiar. that's one of yeah. my theories yeah. yep and if we're talking the same general area he only lived like two miles down the road mm -hmm. but theory my, my, my biggest theory as to why i believe this thing attached to him is because he was the biggest skeptic of the bunch mm -hmm. and when i went oh. a little crazy with all of my uh, you know, all of my ranting and raving and, and, you know, you're going to come out right now. You, da, 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 da. you're going to show these guys what you've been showing me. Are you too big of a, you know, some slang words for female anatomy there. Uh, are you too big of one to come out and, and show <coughs> these guys just because there's more than a, a, a woman and a baby around here. Like I was just giving it everything I could give it. Yeah. And the whole time this guy's just sitting there laughing, you know, he's just, He's getting a kick out of crazy Justin up here, just walking around the house. Right, he doesn't scream it at, at all. He thinks it's funny. yeah. He's, he's screaming at the ether. No, and then all these things are you know happening with the mirrors, and he's shaking it off. He's like, I don't see nothing. I ain't seeing nothing. The temperature dropped in the place. It felt like, and he was totally cool. Nothing. He didn't feel anything at all. No, and was laughing still as he walked out the door. Now there was a couple other dudes there that was like, Freaked we're leaving. Out. We're gone. Freaked we're, out. We're gone. And he was still laughing. Wow. And went and got, got in his Jeep as he left, still laughing. Yep. And then just a couple weeks later, man, it started out with a text that said, my cat won't come into my bedroom anymore. It just stands at the threshold and arches its back. It's hackles raised and it's just hissing.